Hi guys. Hello. Here for another episode of Massey, Massey Art Studio. Studio. And as you can see, it is extremely hot today. It's over 100 degrees and in the studio it is sweltering. It's baking hot. Oh, we are just boiling. But um, that's not going to stop us. We still are going to get our videos out. <laughs> yeah, we want to paint. That's why. We want to paint like so bad. <laughs> from rain or hail or sun. Exactly, or snow. exactly, exactly. Welcome to episode 11. 11, wow, we're like past Double 10. digits. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. 11 is past 10. It is, 11 is, is. past 10. That's yes, exactly absolutely. right. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, uh, what thank are we you. doing today? Oh, no, sorry, carry on. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Um, okay, thanks. Please. Um, <laughs> I'd like to thank everybody who voted for the, who, who did it better. Right. Um, it seems that Lee here. Me? Took the cake. Oh my goodness. Thank you. <laughs> At last. Yep. Lee won. And no, well, which, the, the, the jury is still out. We're still collecting votes. We're still collecting yeah. votes. We're still collecting votes. But so far, he is winning. Don't forget, you've yes. still got time to vote. Yes, you do. Yeah. Because this was very good. Yeah. This was very good. Um, I'd also like to say uh, thanks to everybody who has liked and subscribed so far. Yeah. Um, if you haven't uh, subscribed and hit that like, um, and the notifications bell. Um, if you would please do that, it means the world to us. Uh, we love to see who, all of our followers and get the messages. Um, it's been absolutely wonderful to have all that. Oh, so can, thank I do you. A, can I do a special thank you? Do a special thank you. So uh, a special thank you to Ms. Shirley and Lou yes. for watching, who were yes. watching all the way in Houston? In Houston. In Houston. Absolutely. So if you're watching today, hey guys, hey guys thank you for watching. Yes. And um, also, uh, so what we're going to be doing today, let's just jump right into yes. that. Um, what we're going to be doing today is I'm going to be doing an, uh, a cup pour on a Lazy Susan, spinning mm. it like this. And um, you'll get to see what happens as I do that and the effects of the paint uh, while pouring the paint onto I have the a question. Lazy Susan. Absolutely. Why is it not called a Lazy Deborah? I don't know because her name was Susan. Oh, okay. And yes. she was clearly her name lazy. was not her name is not okay. her name was not Lazy Deborah. It was I Lazy I Susan. Don't, I don't think we call these Lazy Susans. This in is England. the Lazy Susan. Right? It's so shiny it and like brand new. Yeah, it's awesome. It's like <laughs> anyway. So um, uh, yeah, mixed medium girl. I got I, I got like I was watching her videos and um, I got this sudden inspiration. I was like, oh, I have to do that. Um, so thanks, Mixed Media Girl, for that. Thanks, that was Marcy. awesome. Thanks, Marcy. Um, and uh, anyway, what are you doing today? I love my dustpan. Your dustpan pours, it's, you do love this. It's the only time I ever get to use it, because I don't clean. No, so you don't. I'm gonna use the dustpan, and okay. I'm gonna do a dustpan pour using the colors that you've chosen this time. So yes. um, similar to the, how I did it with the metallics, um, but I'm going to mess around with it and I'm going to do dust pimple. And just wait, I picked out some incredible, incredible colors because I love bright. Yes, you I, do. I love bright colors. These are bright colors. I am. And I, I love bright colors. So. Right. So anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and get to this and... Let's get painting. Let's get painting. Hey guys, so here we are um, with the paints that I'm going to be using today and Lee's going to be using today. Um, what we are using, the Arteza. Lemon yellow. Lemon. Um, we and didn't practice that. That was no, really we didn't weird. practice that. Yeah. And then um, we're also using the Ultra Marine Blue by Artist Loft. Um, next, we are using, which is one of my favorites, the Phalo Green by Liquitex Basics Acrylic. Um, then we're doing Artist Loft Light Blue. I love that color. I do too, it's beautiful. And then we're also using Light Magenta by Artist Loft. Um, I love this color, I think it's amazing. So it's um, almost a rainbow pour. We're almost. just missing orange, I think, or something yes, else. But yeah. I, I like the darkness of the, the blue and the phalo green that we mix. I, yeah. It's adding like some, it's keeping it grounded, I think. Well, we'll find out. We will find out. Would you please hand me my Lazy Susan? I, I'm going to nickname this a Lazy Deborah. Well, no that's one. fine. Could you hand me the la Lazy Deborah? There you go. Yep. Okay. So now I got to just put my canvas up on here. Let's I have a see. question. Yes. So are you going to use a flow extender on the canvas first, or are you going to use a flow extender at all? I am going to. Um, 
What do you mean a flow extender? Like uh, like putting the white paint around the edges? Yeah, a flow extender. Yes, absolutely. So I'm you going to use a flow extender. We're going to need a white as well. Yes, if you could grab me a white. I totally will. That would be wonderful. And I will go ahead and just get this lined up for you guys a little bit better. There we go. And here's the beautiful canvas. And here's a white. Here's a white. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put my cups, my paints in the cup. And move this canvas out of the way again. So I can go ahead and layer my paints. Do you have a method for your layering today? Yes. Yes, I'm keeping the yellow away from the green. Okay. And uh, and the pink, and because uh, yellow and blue make green, and and I am also I'm just trying to keep the the right colors together. What do you mean the right colors? What, that what? I feel that are the right colors. Yeah. Okay. So it's, it's like your personal choice. Okay. Yes. It's my own personal choice. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Whoops. Yeah, me done. All right, I am done. This is the result anyway. of the layers of the paint there. I'm going to put this aside. I'm going to get my canvas back up on here. All right, guys, got my canvas all set up. And I got my paint going on. Oh, yeah. So now here we go. I'm going to go ahead and start. Are you going to do a circle of the white paint in the middle first to help it flow? Yes. Okay. Yes. I know you said you wanted yeah. to do that. Yeah, I did want to do that. Sorry, I got really excited there and I almost forgot. I saw that. <laughs> and a question? Yes. You, why are you pouring from that side of the cup rather than the other side of the cup? Is there a method or is it just... There is a method. Uh, and. What happens is, is that all of these colors, see how they're like all nicely layered right here? If we pour it from this side, see this big streak of blue and all that kind of stuff? It'll just catch right. and it'll mix. Okay. Whereas this way, it, it's, all it won't, it's all fresh and new and clean right. and layered. Got it. At least I think that's what it is. Okay. Let's see here. All right, guys, here we go. We're going to flood this on the corners here, around the edges. Why are you flooding? So that way the paint moves across the canvas. Yeah, otherwise it would just roll over each other, right? Yeah, it would just smear and roll over and... Do you need a spatula or, or a popsicle stick no. or anything now? Mm -mm. No, this is just to get it to move. Okay. All right, let's see here. It's definitely sliding. Oh yeah, look at that. No.
Wow, it's so yellow and green. I know, right? It's, yeah, it's like the, those colors have really shone through. It's really cool. I wanted to get this blue right here. Oh, my fingers. Give me some more paper towel. Thank you. liking all this up in here but I'm really liking that blue too I can't decide on I'm gonna stretch it back over this way some mm -hmm. careful you don't drip your fingers into it yeah it's moving a lot slower now so you know you're yeah getting it to the right point I don't know. This is getting a little muddied, so I'm going to go back this way with it. It's moving still. Yeah. this. I love how vibrant the yellow is with the blue next to it and the highlights of the pink that goes through here and oh, sorry. with the highlights of the pink that go through it and yeah it's just so pretty. I am now going to get this right here. Get these edges. Mm -hmm, this corner here. So. Back side. So. Yeah? Mm-hmm. The other one too. Alright. Looks like that is good and done. And a torch? Yes, please. Now I'm going to go ahead and torch this, get all the bubbles out of it. Wow, there's like a lot of bubbles in this. All right. All right, guys. I think this turned into a beautiful, crazy, kind of psychedelic-ish piece. I'm in love with it. I'm in love with the colors. Um, yeah, I can't wait to see what this is gonna look like dried. So, all right. You taking him in for a close-up? Yes, of course, there's gonna be a huge close-up.
welcome back, ladles and jelly spoons. Let's get this show on the road. So um, I am also going to layer a cup because I'm then going to pour into my legendary dustpan and then we'll be going straight on the canvas. Um, so first to layer in. Right, so that is one layered cup. Okay, thank you for being patient. I've flooded my canvas completely. I don't think it's necessary, but for me, I just prefer it that way. And I still have my lovely layered cup. And now I'm gonna pour it into the trusty dustpan. So I'm gonna put a tiny little bit of white in the bottom of the pan first and then I'm gonna pour. And then the plan is to go from corner to corner. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so next to pouring in the paint. Now, this dustpan is not super deep. So I'm gonna get just as much paint on in here as I dare. And I am gonna go backwards and forwards with my pour not going to fill this up too much because I don't want it to pour over the edge. I've got a lovely coral color there and that's definitely because of the white and the pink next to each other, but I'm not mad about it. And if I keep some paint in the cup as well, that's also great. It gives me the opportunity to come back for a second swipe if I need to. Okay. So I think I've got as much as I dare. Wow, that looks so amazing. All right, now we're gonna go in for a pour. <laughs> That's so cool. Okay, thank you. Now the only thing I'm gonna do now is do two tiny corners just on either side. So I'm just gonna use the leftover paint because I still have enough in here and I'm gonna to continue to use the same pan. I don't need to, to wash it off or to dry it off. I'm gonna save a little bit left for the final corner. So now I'm just gonna take this in, go over the corner. I am gonna stretch this out. This is so cool. And then same pan, same paint pot. This time I'm going to use up all my paints. Maybe last drop. And my final quarter. Wow. Oh, okay. That's okay. That is okay because I'm gonna stretch it out anyway, so I will. Uh, actually, were you gonna hand me a stick? Yeah, yes. let's take that off right now. So I'm gonna remove that little bit of dribble, which was totally a mistake. Thank you so much. Back in with the white just to fill that little hole. Fix it now, otherwise, it could have stretched out and it would have been a real pain. And if you can see now, you would never know it was there. Okay, what I didn't do in my dustpan was actually torch the paint, mm. which I should have done because it's thick. Um, however, I am going to torch it now. So if you saw me do the metallics, what I tried to do was make indentations into the swipes. Um, and I'm going to try and do that again, again, using the white. But first all of off, I'm going to run the swipes backwards and forwards so that I do get two solid lines. So I'm going to use the diagonal 
first of all, I'm going to go this way. Mm. It's okay. And now I'm going to come back. I really can't wait to see what's going to happen when you stretch when the, it back when that When the way. yellow stretches, yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Awesome. Okay, I really wanted this line to kind of be the same here rather than this little divot. So I'm just gonna go back. Use the white paper? No, just here. Well, so so what, what I wanted to do is kind of create some symmetry in the two sides. Okay. And I don't like the fact that this is coming in. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it back. But I am first going to add a little bit of white, like you said. Just to help it flow. And what I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to do is just stretch that out diagonally. I hope there's enough paint in on that corner. I feel like there is. It's definitely moving. Yeah. yeah. It's moving. There we go. So yeah? Yeah. Okay. All right. This is so interesting. So I've got two choices. I can either do what I did with my metallic pour and add what I was planning to do was two blobs of white and then tilt this way so that this wasn't a continuous stripe. Or I could keep it really symmetrical and just keep the stripes the way they are. What do you think, Boo Boo? I like what it looks like, honestly. Um, I really like it. If you were to stretch it out a little bit more this way and that way, I think it might look kind of cool. Um, I think you should stretch it out this way and that way. So go left bit. and right. Go left and right. Okay, and would you add more white paint? I don't. I don't think so. I think no. it's. I think it's good. You know, I'm going to do it. You're going to do it. You're going to add yeah, some more white I paint. Think sure. It was always my plan originally, and I may come to regret it. <laughs> but nothing ventured, nothing gained. I. I kind of wanted to have an indent in this side and indent on this side. Okay. That was kind of what I saw. So my plan is do this sure and add the two blobs of white and then let's take this first of all I'm going to take it so that it does indent into the colors and then I'm going to take it off okay so let's see what happens so first of all I'm going to go this way mess around with the sides, make sure that they're all, uh, they're, that there's no more paint and there's no more drips. I'll make sure that everything is covered correctly. Um, but it was almost what I saw in my head. It did get rid of my second kind of like indentation into the colors, but you know, I needed to do that because I didn't love this line that was yeah. sticking out on the edge. Got it. Um, but that's it, I'm done. I'm gonna bring you in for a close up just so you can see all the layered colors. Um, let's do that right now.
All right, guys, that is concluding our number 11. 11 video. Yes. And um, I just wanted to take this moment to thank everyone again for watching our videos. Including Marcy and Mixed Media Girl, yes. whose technique you emulated yes, today with I the Lazy Susan. Yeah, totally. And Sarah Mack, who was the one who inspired me to do the dust fan. Yes. So thanks, ladies. Yes, that was yes, awesome. Yes. And um, we have the paintings that we did with my mom whenever she was here. Um, unfortunately, she's not here to show her painting, but we're going to show it to you. Back in Houston. Um, back in Houston. And this is her painting, actually, right here. Yes, this is her painting. And let me get you a close up on that. She did such an amazing job. I mean, look at that shimmer. So pretty. Woohoo! So, so it's pretty. going to sit with us for three weeks, then I'm going to resin it for her and then take it back for Christmas. Yes, we will be taking it back to Christmas for her. Lee, would you like to show yours? So this is my picture. Um, I love the shimmer. I love the, pur the purples and the blues and the gold. I'll bring you in for a close up. It's a minimalist Dutch pour. The masses love a hell of a lot of paint. I try to do mine a little bit lighter, but there's still a lot of shimmer on there. Look at that. So that's me. Yes. And for mine, I love paint and I love <laughs> color. So this one is it's actually beautiful. mine right here. And I'm trying to figure out like which, way, I, around. which way around. Um, ooh. Yeah, ooh, like I got that. that. Yeah. Yes. It was so, that, what was that green that we used? That was that um, cactus, that cactus, cactus green. It was, yeah, it was called, yeah. it was called pearl cactus green. Pearl cactus or green. Like Look that. at that. It's just like, yeah. so pretty. So, look. Loving it, loving it, loving it. They'll look amazing once they're resined and yeah. ready to go. They're really going to pop. Um, yeah, they're really going to pop. We'll have to put some pictures up whenever they're all done and ready to go. And Jeremy's mom picked these colors because she likes the autumnal kind of palette. Yes, Do you remember? the fall, yes, yeah. the fall colors. And they're definitely kind of fall colors. Oh yeah, absolutely. I like them yeah, a lot. The coppers and the golds and yeah. burnt siennas and of Santa Fe, New Mexico. So I, I'm so hot in this year. Oh my God, it is, I, you look I, like I'm been, wet. You look like you've been swimming. I am wet. So um, Barbara will be back. There will be another episode. There will be. It will be our 1,000th episode. So yes. stay tuned for that, everyone. <laughs> we'll be inviting her back into the studio. And uh, until then, please. Please. Like and subscribe. Please. Like and subscribe. Follow like. us. Hit that notification bell. Keep looking out for our videos. We continue yes. to love what we're doing. We hope that you're enjoying the journey with us. We are learning every time we do a video. So every time. Yeah. Thank yeah, you for so watching. much, so much fun and so crazy and so little time. So little time. So just a quick a sneak peek. We've got three more videos that we've already planned out with three techniques mm -hmm. that we haven't used before. We've got an egg carton technique coming up. Yes, the, an egg carton pour. We've got mm -hmm. a funnel pour, which you've not seen us do, directly yes. through the funnel. Yes. Uh, you've seen the Lazy Susan, and you're gonna do a, a, like a funny flip cup technique, right? Yes, but it's going to be a like- 24. 24 cup. Shot cups. Shot cups, full of paint. Right. Pour. Which, coming from the clumsy one of the Massey Art Studio, sounds like it's going to be a disaster, but we will see. <laughs> we will and you see. will all be able to watch it. Exactly. <laughs> over and over again. Um, all right, folks, that's it. Um, yes. We've had a great time. Thank you for watching. We are going to go and shower and dry off. Yes, hopefully in some air conditioning. so hot today. Uh, but please, like and subscribe. We'll see you all for episode 12 of Massey Art Studio. Massey Art Studio. Thanks, guys. Bye. Thank you.